Okay, so this should be pretty easy to do. I went to the Screencast-O-Matic website and just clicked on the Start Recording. Oop, maybe that's not what I. Welcome to Screencast. Maybe that's not what I clicked on. There, I clicked on that one and said Start Recording. I don't want to run this from the browser, so I clicked Download and Install. Downloaded the file from CNET here. And that's the file name. I've got that saved and I've got it installed. Now the other thing that I did was I went on Google and I found this screenshot of somebody's Windows desktop that is 1024 by 768 just like yours. So I'm working with the same size that you have to work with with the screenshot that I have in my browser. Okay, so there's one thing that I can show you down on your Windows taskbar. You can right click here, and then it's in the properties, I believe, and you can check auto hide the taskbar. And when you do that, your taskbar goes away. So if you absolutely need the extra height to record everything you want to record, but you don't want to show that taskbar down here, you can hide it. It is going to appear anytime your mouse gets to the bottom, though. And then to revert that behavior back to the old way, just right click on the taskbar once it comes up, go into properties, and uncheck that auto hide taskbar. So that's that's one option. If you want to actually record the whole screen and hide your taskbar, you can do that. Now I'll just start up the uh, Screencast-O-Matic here. We'll use a free version. And I don't know what size it's going to be when it starts up on your computer. But they do give you this menu down here. Now if you wanted to try and record a 720p video on anything, you could try selecting Full HD from this menu. And that gives you a frame size of 1280 wide by 720 tall. That's 720p video. This has a 16 to 9 ratio. This would be good. But since your desktop resolution, the dimensions of your Windows desktop, the dimensions of your monitor, is only 1024 wide, you can't go 1280 wide. So, so you can see black bars at the left and right inside of our recording box here because our desktop is not 1280 pixels wide. Our desktop is only 1024 pixels wide. Okay? So you're, you're not going to be able to use Full HD on the computer that you're running. That would be a bad idea to try and use it. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe the program won't even let you select that if your desktop isn't big enough. Uh, the next thing you can do, though, is either go down to the medium HD setting and from the looks of this here, that would fit on your desktop, and this is also a 16 by 9 ratio. Uh, you could do the small HD setting, and this one definitely fits on your desktop. But, if you've got more content that you need to record than will fit into this box, it's not a problem. What I would do is, um, I'm going to assume that your taskbar is always shown. We're not going to hide the taskbar. And I'll just drag this down here, so I can pretty much see everything that I want above the, de the taskbar. And all of these white boxes around this recording frame area, the black and white dashed box, these are all drag handles. And what I mean by that is you click on hold and drag and you can resize your video recording area. And it tells you down here in this box what size you're recording at if that matters to you. What I would actually most likely want to do is I'll just select a small HD and let's take this this white drag handle at the upper right hand corner. If you click and drag this you can see you can drag it around however you want but that's not what you should do. Set this back to small HD this is our 16 to 9 ratio. What you want to do is hold down your shift key, then click and drag. And now it's going to resize your video recording window or box, but keep that 16 by 9 ratio. 
that's the ideal best way to record a video right now. Um, if when you're doing this, you still have things that are getting cut out at the top or bottom, like obviously we want we want to not record the taskbar down here at the bottom. So I'm not going to, you know, make it bigger at the bottom edge. But if I absolutely needed to see some more things up here at the top here, I would just drag this up and not worry about the aspect ratio. Um, I'll reset that to small HD again. The best the best way to resize if you can if you can keep the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and get all the content recorded that you want to have in your video, that's the best way to do it. And just hold down shift whenever you click and drag on any of these quarter drag handle white box thingies. And that will let you resize this and keep that 16 to 9 aspect ratio for your video. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else that I might need to show in this. I have not actually tried recording with the Screencast-O-Matic. I'm recording using the, the Camtasia software because I just prefer to use that. But it does look like Screencast-O-Matic gives you everything you need so that you can record your 16 by 9 aspect ratio video pretty easily. And any cropping that you need to do, you can do that before you record so you won't have to edit later to crop things out. Uh, if you have any other questions, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer them.